my cousins and I were walking down the street and we saw the gutter and how people were actually collecting water from the gutter to like reuse. And I looked at the water as though it was something that I couldn't even touch because it was so gross and dirty. But people there were actually using that water and that kind of shocked me and showed me how a lot of people don't have access to clean drinking water. One in 10 people on this planet lack access to clean water. Mary Joseph, a student at Hillcrest High in Utah, has built a solution to fix the dangers of unclean water for people in this world, even for the aid of her own family in India. Mary designed a filtration system using terracotta pots. I chose terracotta pots specifically because it's 80% terracotta, like clay, and 20% burnout material. And burnout material is anything from coffee grounds, newspaper shreddings, coconut husks, anything that's readily available to use in that specific area. And what, it, what you do is you take the burnout material, mix it with the clay, and after you bake the clay into your pot, you actually see microscopic pores that are left behind because the burnout material burns out in the baking process. And so that way you can actually get water to seep through. If you're just worried about filtering, you know, like dirty water from bacteria and such, or any sort of like organism, you could probably use like charcoal or anything to filter it through. But since I was specifically looking for um, something that could also remove chemicals, I, would, I had to use a chemical reagent to also remove the chemicals. Through this project, Mary has discovered she wants to take her journey down the path of giving back to society. My high school career is coming to an end and I'm going to graduate soon. I think I would like to go into the medical field and if I can like couple like my science and giving back, Doctors Without Borders definitely sounds like something that I could see myself doing. Yeah. She is part of the International Baccalaureate in STEM programs to gain a head start on her future. So IB stands for International Baccalaureate, and it's similar to the AP program, but also different at the same time. IB is an international organization, and so you can find the curriculum that we're using all throughout the world. Mary has won many awards and had the opportunity to share her experiences on TEDx Youth. It was really cool to do both the TEDx talk um, at Canyon School District and also the USAT conference. There were pretty much conferences where I would go and talk about water pollution, water crisis, and what I did. And so it was just a way for me to tell people what I had been up to and how they can become involved and how water pollution isn't a problem that, you know, faces developing nations, but we have water pollution in like the Jordan River. And it's, these are problems that we face in our own home state. Jordan River, it's beautiful in some areas, but some areas are seemingly... So I was able to present my research and my project there, and it was extremely humbling and such a cool experience because it's a science fair project or a science fair competition for kids all around the United States. So 50 kids come in, one from each state, and all of them have water projects. So all of like all these students and people that share the same interest as you do about water quality. I feel like it's very important to find your passion and it's kind of hard to do that, especially as like when you're really young, when you don't know what you want to do and you're still figuring things out. But I think one thing that I wish I'd known earlier is to like, follow what you want to do rather than listening to what others want to do or like, what your parents think you should do or what your friends think you should do. I think early on itself, if you feel like you want to go into dance or you want to go into science, you should go into whatever you feel like you'd enjoy the most because otherwise you won't be able to find the drive or the motivation to excel in whatever you're doing.